In this video, we're going to go through the specifications screen. To start though, we're actually going to begin in the costing screen because a lot of the specifications are actually built here by using the S button. Now, we've touched on this in a previous video, but basically what this button does is when you click it, it will then grab the description and also the heading and pull that information through to this specs screen. The idea is, is, is a bit of a checklist. So you might have, say, 150 different items in the costing screen, and you might want a customer to, say, see about 75-ish. So you can go through and pick uh, those by using the S button, and it's really a great way of showing them what they need to see. So, you know, for example, things like screws and nails, the customer probably really doesn't mind too much about those items, but they definitely want to see things that they can look at. So paint or fixtures or light fittings and switches and so on and so forth. So what I've done is I've gone through and clicked a bunch of these S buttons. And just before I jump into the spec screen, I want to make one little point here. And that is if you say, if I go to say electrical, which uh, in this example, I haven't actually put anything in there, but I just want to make the point that you can actually use the S button on things that have no cost. The reason that we've allowed the software to do that is that for something, say, like electrical or plumbing or maybe even roofing, you'll get a quote. Uh, and often in those quotes, uh, it'll just come back as a single figure. But it's probably going to include a whole bunch of different things. So light points, door chimes, dimmer switches, and so on and so forth. And it's a really easy way to make an inclusion list uh, is to use this kind of preset uh, checklist. Obviously. This is just our standard one, and you can customize it however you like, but really the point here is that there's uh, you can pull those through even if, if there's no cost. Granted, that the total cost of the electrical will come from the quote, and jumping from here into the spec screen now, it looks very much like the costing screen. It just doesn't have any of the costs. And if I go into any of these categories, let's say the um, appliances one here, for example, um, so they've all come through, and I know they've come from the costing screen because they have this lock here. And what we tend to tell people is that the S button will get you about 90% of the way there, i.e. Um, you will still want to probably include more and add a little bit. Um, so you might say, you know, installed by qualified trades or qualified electrician, whatever you want to say there. The other thing you might want to do is add photos. So, uh, for example, I might go cooktop and double click on it uh, just to go into edit mode and click again here and take me back to my computer and I'm just going to grab some pictures from there. So, this was for the cooktop, which I've got one here. And as far as where these images come from, I just grabbed them off Google. Catalogs are really good, but Google is really great. Uh, different websites as well, like Home Depot and Lowe's or any of those sorts of websites are really good. Um, if you're just looking for images for, say, a wall oven or something like that, you know, model numbers are, are fantastic, uh, particularly if you know the exact one. So you can go find the one that you're using and then right click it and save the image and then uh, grab it back onto your computer. And then from there, you can load it into BuildExact. So I'm just going to do that for uh, one or two examples here. And there are just two points to be made here. One is we often get questions about how do I handle exclusions? And it's a really good question. So there's a couple different ways that you can handle it. And it really depends on the exclusion type. So if it's an, if it's an exclusion as in, hey, uh, this is part of the build that we're just not tackling, a really easy way to do that is just to add another category and call it exclusions and then add in the items that you are purposely excluding. For more generic exclusions, we'll talk about this when we get into a coat letter, uh, but there's a terms and conditions area where you can put those things in there. Another thing worth mentioning is just making the building uh, of the specification section faster. So there's two things to mention here. One is back in the costing screen and that is that you can preset these S buttons to be a part of your estimate template, and you can also preset them whether they can be on or off. And this is true of the P buttons and the T buttons as well. 
And that will just mean that your specifications almost get pre-built. As soon as you start the estimate, you can also in your template go and add things like exclusions, which would sit uh, right here every time. So you can definitely do a lot of the pre-work beforehand, so you don't have to redo it every single time. Lastly, if you're the type of user who has, let's say, several different models or you want to have different specifications for different types of work and you'd rather just keep a whole set of those and just drop them in as you go. So I'm thinking uh, more here for, say, smaller jobs, maybe decking work, uh, small renovations, extensions, where you've got a, a really good scope of work and you just want to keep using the same list. You can absolutely keep presets in here as well. So you just save them and then drop them in every time that you need to use them. So plenty of options there, bound to be one that'll work for you. In the next video, we'll actually be looking at the quote letter and then ultimately how the specifications print out. But for now, that's how you get your specs ready.